Hi everyone and welcome to a very hot and humid Fort Wayne, Indiana today. We're hitting 95 degrees. So sitting behind me here is the Eco Trek. It is a folding electric bike. I am in no way affiliated with the company. In fact, I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce Eco Trek. It's been a great bike so far. I've had it for a little over a month. I've done 400 miles on it and I thought this would be a great time to do a review. I've been looking for an electric bike for a little while now, at least a year. And when I found this online, it really stood out to me. It had everything that I was looking for and in an affordable price. If you shop around for a folding electric bike, once you add electric, it becomes very expensive. This bike was $780 and that's with shipping and tax. If you would look for a bike that comes close to the specs on this bike, you're not going to find one for under $1,400. And I believe that this bike is built better than what I've seen from their competition. Some of the things that really stand out to me is the high grade frame. The, the welds are serious. It's got a nice motor. It's a 500 watt motor and that's matched with a 36 volt lithium battery. It's very easy to use on the uh, power settings for the pedal assist. You have a low, a medium, and a high. Very easy to go through those functions and get it to work. If you want, you can even go full throttle. You just twist the throttle and it'll turn this bike into a little scooter and it'll do, I think, about 18 miles an hour with full throttle. If you're doing high and pedal assist, it's gonna get you up to 20, 22. I've even had it up as high as 23 miles an hour. So I was looking for a bike also that had a fat tire on it because of the campground and stuff like that, but I was still a little leery if I was actually gonna like it or not. And I gotta say that fat tire around the campgrounds have been, it's just been great. It's, it's, it, it adds so much more stability and uh, all the bikes I've always grown up with and, and I've had in the past. I feel very comfortable on the bike, very easy to ride, 28 miles, I would have never been able to do that before, but with this, it actually makes it somewhat easy. That being said, you're still working, you're still pedaling along, unless of course you do the, the full throttle, but I don't use that too much. I use it more for just going up hills or if it gets extremely windy. I would say the, the way to describe this bike is that it makes everything feel like a calm, flat road. You know, it, it's taking all the work out of bicycling and just leaving all the fun. So I'm using it, uh, to run errands now. I'm leaving the car at the campground more often and taking the bike out. It's just getting me outside more. I, I go for at least a one hour ride every day. Sometimes I'm going for two or, or three hours. And Sabrina even said to me the other day, how long do you think you need to be out before I need to worry? <laughs> I said, you don't have to worry about me, I'm fine. So I'm gonna go all, over all the features. You have a key that turns your power on to the battery. It also locks the battery in place, the front wheel, comes off easily, it's got a quick release if you need more space, and both bikes folded up fit in the back of the RV, which is awesome. Or we can fold both bikes up and fit them in the back of our C-Max. Now a lot of people call this like a, a cheater bike because it's doing a lot of work for you. I even call it a cheater bike, but it doesn't mean that you're not getting a workout. You're still getting out, you're still going about. My watch is like a fitness watch. It measures my heart rate and calories. With the pedal assist, I'm still burning 600 calories. 600 to 700 calories. If I go out for two hours, that's 1400 calories burned in a day, but it's just fun. Yeah, I get, I get out and I'm riding it and um, I almost always go over an hour because it's just so much fun to be on. To charge the bike could not be any simpler. It comes with the charger. You just plug it into an outlet and then right into the side of the bike, you can leave the battery on the bike and charge or you can slide the battery out and charge. It's really up to you. I, I leave the battery in all the time. And what I think I love the most about the bike so far is that I can work as hard as I want. I can turn the power off completely and pedal it, you know, just like a regular bike if I want it to. Or, I, or with that settings, you know, the low, medium, high. It's almost like an exercise bike that would, you would find in a gym or something, you know, an indoor stationary bike. You're, you're, you're kind of setting the resistance, especially, you know, not only do you have the electric power part, but you also have a shifter too. And I've noticed that you can kind of cheat it a little bit so I can lower the gears and go down to gear four or five, which makes the pedaling easier. And the easier the pedaling is for me to go and pedal, the more the motor kind of kicks in and helps me along. I actually was surprised for the price. Like I said, you know, $780 might sound like a lot of money for a bike. And I absolutely agree it is. But if you go shopping for these bikes, for electric folding bikes, they're way over that. And I was like, man, how are these guys selling their bike for half the price of everybody else? And I really took a chance on it. Read reviews, the reviews sound good. 
I brought it home and I was just, you know, very surprised with the build quality and, and just how well it's put together. And I still couldn't tell you how they're half the price of everybody else. I was actually talking to my buddy, Sean Chickory. He's looking at electric bikes too. And we, we've had the same uh, conversation a few times now, other than the fact that other bikes come with a light and a tail light, we can't figure out where, where else these guys are saving money from. And that's not to say that this is flawless. I can tell you some of the things that, you know, maybe I would like to see changed on it. So the, the battery, when it slides into this post, stock wise, it has a little bit of play. And if I go off road with it, you can hear the battery shift forward and back, even though it's on this track. So what I did was I taped some weather gasket onto the back of the post and slid the battery in and now it's nice and snug. Maybe Eco Trek will see the video and be like, oh, that's a good idea. That's, and it was very cheap. I mean, it's a super easy fix. Something else that I would like to see is on the handlebar section. When you lift your handlebars, there's numbers and I can set it to the same position every time after I'm done folding the bike and putting it away. I would like to see those numbers on the seat post as well. Uh, again, not a big deal, but it would be nice because, you know, when I put it away, I do adjust the seat. Sometimes I take the seat off if I do remove the battery. And then I'm like, oh, where did I have my seat before? I can tape it with a piece of masking tape, which is an easy fix. And that's probably what the company would say. You know, it's an easy fix. They're not worried about it too much. But other than those two things, man, I, I'm like super impressed with this bike. It is a little heavy. Again, being an electric bike, it's just something I don't think the companies are able to get away with just yet. With the battery in place, this bike is between 55 and 60 pounds. I don't mind picking it up and putting it in the back of the RV. I haven't had an issue, but I think that's all I have to say for it right now. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because it's free and why not? Just, just push the subscribe button. If you have any questions about the bike, I will do my best to answer them. I'll put a link to their website down below. You can check out their website and, and all their official specs. And I also believe if you're looking for an electric bike, uh, folding or not because they have an array of different bikes. So far, I am very impressed with the bike and I think you will be too. All right, everybody, take care, safe travels, and I'll catch you next time.